This is Kilo, and today I'm going to show you guys how to decode a quickset smart lock using the KW1 2 in 1 pick from Lishi. So, as you guys can see, we have the little divot here. This is a smart lock, and it is locked up. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn him to the side here so you guys can see. And a general rule of thumb when it comes to Lishi picks is when you start out, you want to use light tension. These do not take much tension to pick considering the basic technique in normal lock picking where you kind of apply moderate tension in some cases you always want to start out very light with lishies except when it comes to these smart locks so just to note that there you'll open up the tension arm and you'll slide the needle the pick here you see the needle right up here you're gonna slide him to chamber one and depth 6 and then you're going to apply heavy tension and jiggle the pick here as you can see there's a little bit of movement but not much he's only really dropping to the 5 so we'll go ahead and reset drop him 1 depth apply tension and you see how far he is now moving this tells us that chamber number 1 is a five cut. So we'll go ahead and reset and slide to chamber number two. We'll apply heavy tension on depth six. Again, not a lot of ten or uh, play. We'll reset, drop to chamber five or depth five, excuse me. And again, not a lot of movement. That's very tight. Reset, drop to depth number four heavy tension and that's a lot of movement so chamber two is a four cut we'll go ahead and reset slide to chamber three depth six apply heavy tension not a lot of movement reset go to five lot of movement that's that's a lot of play there so I'm gonna go ahead and call that one a five so our cuts now are five, four, five on our first three chambers. We'll go to chamber number four, depth six. Not a lot of movement. Let off our tension, chamber or depth five. There is some movement, but it's still only going about one depth down. We'll reset four not a lot of movement at all very tight chamber three not a lot of movement or depth three excuse me <laughs> depth number two and we are now moving all over so that's a lot of play so that would be a cut a depth number two and We'll go to chamber number five, apply heavy tension. Little bit of movement here. Drop down to depth number five. Little bit of movement. Number three. Little bit of movement. They're all pretty similar. Drop down to, oh, sorry about that, that was four. Drop down to three still same amount of movement as the top three depth number two Oop. and that's a lot of play there we'll go ahead and just check chamber one not a lot of play go reset go back to two and that's a lot more movement than the rest so this is telling me that our cuts are most likely 5, 4, 5, 2, 2. Now, I have already went ahead and code cut this key for you guys to save time for this video. And I have a key gauge here. So we're going to go ahead and measure these so you guys can see it. That is a 5, 4, Five. Oop. 
sorry doing this on camera here is a little difficult <laughs> 2 and 2 so 5 4 5 2 2 we'll go ahead and insert him into our smart lock here and we have now cut ourselves a key to just go ahead and jump right into this lock so you guys if you do have a lishy pick like this one you no longer have to use you know force or credit cards on the doorknob versions or you know you don't have to worry about drilling these things if you don't have the you know the Loctech smart lock decoder tool I do have a video on that if you'd like to see how that works you can check out the link right here but if you don't have that this is a much cheaper option there is a little bit of a learning curve like you saw on that last cut all of the basically there was a little bit of movement and then some of them had no movement you're gonna have to realize it's all by feel so a lot of times when you see it move more than you know one depth so basically if you're here and it's only moving into this that's usually not an indication you're you know that's your cut if you're here and it moves like down to you know past one depth that's kind of the play you're looking for but this is just kind of to help you guys out for those of you who were wondering how that technique works hopefully this video helps you guys if it did feel free to drop a like subscribe if you haven't already and as always you know i hope you guys have a really nice day